Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Today I want to give you nine TV show recommendations for improving your English. Let's get started. First, I'd like to tell you about a word that is a little different than TV show. It's a little more specific and it perfectly describes these first seven TV shows. The word is sitcom. Sitcom. A sitcom is a comedy type TV show. It's not dramatic. It's not about crime. It's not about death or thrills. It's just about family or friends or daily life. It's a sitcom and usually it's a little bit comedic or funny. So the first ones I want to talk to you about are two TV shows that are about friends. The first one is, as you know, Friends. This is a very common TV show for English learners to use. I think it's the most used TV show for learning English. So I definitely recommend trying to find Friends either on a DVD, on Amazon.com, or looking on the internet. Maybe some local shop in your town has some English DVDs you could watch Friends. This is just about a group of friends living their daily life. The second TV show about friends is called Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Now this TV show is probably one of the most common and most well-known TV shows in the US because this TV show is known for being a show about nothing. Really, there's not much plot, there's not much thrill, but it's just about some friends' lives living in the city. And I think it's quite funny. Some episodes are funnier than others, but I recommend Friends and Seinfeld as two TV shows about a group of friends living together. The second category are TV shows about family. Now these TV shows are maybe a little bit older. They're from the 1990s, like the previous two, Friends and Seinfeld. But I think this type of language is very commonly used in daily speech today. So I, that's why I chose these for my recommended list. These two TV shows about family are Full House and Everybody Loves Raymond. Full House is a TV show about a family living together in a big house. They have some children, there's aunts and uncles. There's a lot of different things that go on and it's funny, it's cute. It's a classic American TV show. The second one, Everybody Loves Raymond, is about a man named Raymond who is a sports writer and about his family and his grandmother or his mother and his brother and all the people in their lives. They are an Italian-American family, which means they're very expressive. They don't have any problem telling their family members that they are angry or that they are happy. So it's a very entertaining TV show and it's another classic American TV show about family. The next two are TV shows about high school and young people. Now, even if you are not a young person, if you're not in high school, I think these shows are still great for you because you can learn about American culture and some slang that you might not have known before. These two TV shows are The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Boy Meets World. These two TV shows are about young people, teenagers going to school, living with their families, and the main characters are the high schoolers. The other TV shows that I mentioned have young people in them, but the main characters aren't always the young people. In these two shows, the main characters are the high schoolers and you can see their daily struggles, their love, their hates, uh, their experience with school, with friends. It's great for learning more about American culture and also learning some expressions that are used in very common, casual conversations. The final three TV shows are modern TV shows because the other ones are from the 1990s, 2000 era. But these next three are modern TV shows, but I'm going to tell you about them on my website. So please click on this link and it will take you to my website where you can hear and find out about three more TV shows that are modern and are great for learning English. Thanks so much for watching this video and let me know below, do you have any other TV show recommendations for learning English? Have you seen any of these TV shows? Have they helped you learn English? Thanks so much and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.